night. So this is a quick little unboxing video uh, of the Celestron Edge HD 1100. So it's the basically the Edge HD version of the C11. So pretty happy. All right, so I got my knife here. I'm just gonna cut open this box. I'm not gonna really narrate this thing. I'm just gonna let you watch. But you don't need to know every single little little cable in here. You just need to see how it comes. This is like the last one I could find online. Everything, everybody else is sold out. So I'm gonna see if I can set this down. Give me a minute. And then I'll show it off as I go. There we go. And go here. There. All right. luminous eyepiece right here too. I, I really do like that they included this in here. Um, it's a good high quality eyepiece. I've seen it through a friend's and it looks pretty nice. So this was definitely a plus. They didn't skip there. At least on the will double as the uh, protective case for the short term. Uh, so I can put this all together. Another one. And I also need to open this up too just to make sure it, nothing's damaged in shipping or anything. And this thing's pretty heavy. So let me move some things out of the way. So let's have a quick look. This is how it looks. It's the Celestron Edge HD. A very, very, very nice telescope. Just for the record, um, this telescope right here I got from Adorama. And uh, it was around, I think, 30, I think I got it for $3,200. So it listed for like $3,500 or $3,600, but they gave me a break on the price because I called in. So I do encourage you, if you want one, um, don't just go by the website. If you see one online, um, avoid the temptation of doing of adding it to your cart and buying it. If you call into Adorama, they, the guy just gave me a $400 discount off of it. So you can actually get it cheaper than what the website says um, just by working with somebody. So a little, little secret there. That was kind of nice. That did uh, avoid the, I mean, well, cover, it basically covered the, uh, taxes and then some so saved a little bit of money there just by doing that and this was the last one that they had now they're sold out until they make more i still need a mount um probably in the immediate short term i'll use my little my avx mount it's the heaviest mount i own at the moment i have another one but i have an ioptron but it's not gonna it's not big enough for this the avx mount is not big enough for this either uh, for anybody watching this video so don't buy an AVX for this mount. I'm using it only because I can pop, I can uh, put it on there and and uh, just kind of work on it. Possibly use it to look at planets um, if I manually control it. But I definitely am not using it uh, for anything. 
ongoing. Um, I'm working on getting a, an iOptron CEM70 um, as soon as they come back in stock. They've been out of stock for a while. So that's my ideal mount that I want to get. So it'll come. It just, I've got to wait a little bit longer. But in the meantime, I got this one. So um, this is a quick view of the OTA. Um, it is very nice. And uh, there's the visual back and everything back there. I do not have a focal reducer yet. Um, it is coming soon. I, as soon as I decide I need one. Um, here's the focuser here. So I will, I will get the kit on here um, that allows me to put my ZWO ETH on here and use my focuser, my electronic focuser. Uh, I will also, in fact, I already do, and I may go ahead and put it on. I have Bob's Knobs. Um, they're the knobs that go under this cover uh, that go on here to help you collimate the scope if you ever need to. Um, I had I had bought them on accident when I was getting some for my C8, but um, I will uh, go ahead and use the ones I never returned on this scope, it turns out, now that I have it. And uh, that'll be another little upgrade on here. I do plan to put a Telrad on here. I am a firm believer in Telrads. Um, it's a it's better than the red dot finder scope or red dot scopes and the finder scopes on the tail rad basically just look through it and line it up uh, with whatever you're trying to find in the sky it is super cool you get you a tail rad um, the only gripe about my tail rad is that it uses double-sided tape to stick on here so that tape can come off but for the most part it works pretty good and um, you line it up with the scope and once you have it lined up you can just eyeball it in the sky you know through the tail rad and then you know your scope is lined up i mean it's it's pretty simple it's pretty it's so simple it's it's just cool um so this is this is that definitely if you buy one keep the box um and the foam keep all that uh you know this is definitely not gonna it won't be used right away i mean i'm acquiring parts and slightly modifying it i know a lot more now than i originally bought when i when i bought my c8 earlier in the year and uh i know what i like i know what kind of works and doesn't work and I have a lot better idea. So it's all, all a learning process here. Um, but back to the eyepiece. Um, Celestron does make some good eyepieces. This is the Luminos. I mean, it's up there. Probably not quite as good as a Nagler, but it is up there. And it is a high-quality eyepiece. And I've looked at this one and uh, in a, in through a friend, like I said, and this looked pretty sharp. So let's see if I can get it open with one hand here. Just a second. Oh, it's got tape on it. Okay, hang on. There we go. Let's try it now. I think you guys should see the see this one. Okay. And then there's the eyepiece. I mean, this is. You've never seen a luminous eyepiece. You can buy them separately. I mean, not just this one, but these are heavy duty eyepieces. Um, good field of view. This is the two inch model. So you, you know, have plenty of eye relief. Just a very, very high quality. It's not a plossal by any means like you get with the cheap telescopes. I mean, this is, Celestron did the right thing here by including one of these. So I'm very happy with that. All right. So that's, that was the main show there. And then right here, just real quickly, um, should, should be some cables. Right, this is the finder scope in this box. You know, I'll show it to you, I guess. Not a big deal, really. I don't play on, I don't really want to use a finder scope on this, but I want to use a Telerad. But just to show you what it looks like, there it is. I'm not taking it out of the bag. Run on the mill finder scope. If you're new, when I just want to hook it up, you're more than welcome. But personally, I'd rather have a tell that. So, and then over here, here we got. I think. Uh, oh, this is the diagonal. Uh, I'll show you the diagonal. That's okay. Um, there are different ones uh, you can get. I've gotten some upgrades. In fact, I already have some diagonals inside. I'm not overly worried about this one, but I'll go ahead and pop it open. So, so you know what you got coming. You know, 
the two inch diagonal. Yet another one from my collection. And an adapter here. So, so it gives you what you need. So you can really mount this thing up on something and start looking at things with it right away. That's that's really the idea behind um, what they give you in this package is just kind of get you going. Uh, and obviously you got a you know decent sized book and and whatnot. So definitely need to do some reading here just to be familiar with it. Um, definitely there is uh, a lot to do with this. I got ZWO products. Uh, ready to go for this thing. Got plenty of cameras, no shortage there. Filter wheels, filters. You know, I'm pretty excited uh, with this model. I was my C8. I was excited about um, as well, but I think this is really gonna, really gonna be the trick. And my C8, you know, it's, it's got less focal length than this one. This one's gonna be a high focal length telescope, uh, even more so. So, you know. But this is going to be the way to go for me as far as the SETs go. And I have refractors and I have a Red Cat and I have uh, a GT81 fourth generation for the optics. But as far as the uh, SETs go, I mean, I'm, Edge HD was the way to go for me um, at the end of the day. And, uh, so, all right. Well, that is it for now. Um, it's just a quick little unboxing video. And, uh, more on this later as time moves forward. Thank you. Y'all have a great day.